Hello Virgo. This is a Snoichi here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, you are a blessing to me. Thank you. Thank you for all of the likes, share, and subscribing. It's absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that you guys are <laughs> actually here to support me as well. It's just amazing. The encouragement, the sense of community, it's amazing. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick prayer on the cards. All right. Um, now, this is going to be a love reading. For those of you who are connecting with someone on a romantic level or someone you're interested, of course, it won't resonate for all of you, so do keep that in mind. I'll be looking into the intentions and the feeling of this person that you're dealing with. This is from the mid of July 2020 to the end of July 2020. All right, guys, so let's see here. Interesting. Oh, nourishment. Very nice. Even nicer, sexuality. <laughs> okay. Then you have selfhood. Okay. Crossroads. And then there's growth. Ecstasy. Abundance. Surrender. Under the bottom of the deck, you have energy. Okay, guys, so I'm going to express to you, Virgo, uh, what is it that this person is feeling that you're connecting with in current times? Dear Virgo, there is so much that I can gain from you, and I feel this. You give me nourishment, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You never let me become malnourished in any of these aspects. I feel this from you, Virgo. And there's no doubt I find you extremely sexy. I love your skin. I love your hair. I want to touch you. I want to be close to you intimately. But I do see that you are a bit defensive and guarding yourself. There's parts of you that you don't want me to see. I want to be in that part, in that life. I want to be a part of that. There's decisions that have to be made and I am have now come to a crossroads where I am going to make a decision. It's time that I do this. Why? Because I want to grow with you. I want to grow with you and see where things lead. Because in the relationship and connection that I have with you, I feel spiritual bliss. There's something about you that makes my spirit happy. I feel the energy of you so abundant. So many things I can learn. I feel so refreshed with you. I feel that 
You are independent. You have a lot of potential. And you make me a better person. I have surrendered my mind and my body to you, Virgo. And overall, the connection that we have had is starting to make me feel spiritually energized. Somehow, you make me energized, feeling colorful from the inside, a tingly, warm feeling. You make me feel this. You also make me feel as if I'm on top of the world, as if I can be invincible. I have so much energy. And that's all because of you, Virgo. Okay, that was actually probably one of the nicest readings I have done so far. <laughs> Um, we'll have a look later on at some aspects that might need to be worked on in the relationship. So far, Virgo, it seems not too bad. So this might resonate for a few of you. This might not resonate for all of you. Just going to do a quick prayer. So... Let's see what actions this person is going to take towards you. Keep in mind, time is fluid. So this might have already happened. It might be happening right now, and it could happen in the future. Wow, this person is very passionate, Virgo. Ace of Wands. They want to start a passionate new beginning with you. They want to lay to rest, for it to die, anything in the past that has happened between the both of you, anything that was not serving the right purpose. This person, for some time, is going to keep a blindfold on. They don't want to see anything. They don't want to hear anything. They don't want to deal with the situation. The situation between the both of you, they are at a crossroads. Yes, the card before was that. So therefore, they are going to take some time out and they're going to think about it. But they just don't want to actually physically deal with the situation. Then you have the Ten of Cups. Absolutely gorgeous. So there, yes, wow. There is going to be a time, guys, when this person is going to come to the realization after silence that they want you. They want to be with you. They want to be on the next level with you. Um, something more committed than what you are in right now. They they want to marry you. If if you guys are not into the whole marriage thing, they literally want to commit to you. They just want you to be theirs, belong to each other. That's how close this connection is. The four of wands. They do feel that you might be their twin flame. They do feel a connection with you on a spiritual level. You've had three cards that have popped up. You had energy, you had ecstasy, and now you have the Four of Wands. So, this is a new deck. And this is the Lover's Path Tarot. Where is my little booklet? There you are. The Lover's Path Tarot. The reason why I purchased this one, guys... I wanted to find out if there's any negative aspects in the relationship because I've had a lot of people comment and ask me why isn't such and such coming back, right? So this will show you one or two aspects of the relationship that can be looked into, something that is causing negativity in the relationship. Now the, these cards, keep in mind, are vice versa. This could be either yourself that you might have these traits or these characteristics or the other person might. So keep that in mind that this could be vice versa.
Okay, Ten of Cups. Traditionally, this is a good card. However, I'm going to be looking at the negative aspects. Wow. It's not really wanting to come out. There's not a lot that I did find here. However, yes, there is a little bit of negativity in the relationship. Transformation. So you have Ten of Cups, you have Five of Coins, and then you have Transformation. Now, the interpretation is slightly different, so I will be reading right from the book for you guys. Okay. So Ten of Cups, the aspects that I'm looking at are negative, so let's focus on that. Things that need to be fixed. Dissatisfaction, though uncertain why. Everything looks perfect on the surface. An inability to experience joy. So guys, what's happening here is that there is some type of dissatisfaction in this relationship and one of you does not know why there is a sense of dissatisfaction. Literally, the uncertainty is there that they just don't know why. They just know it doesn't feel right. Something is off. Somebody feels this, one of you. Everything may look perfect on the surface. Every, you might be acting. You might be pretending like everything is okay. But there is a feeling on the inside that something is not okay. Remember, this could be you or them. This person does not have the ability to experience joy. Um, there could have been a lack of joy in the type of relationships that they have experienced. And so when they have joy, when they're being provided joy, they're not able to accept that. There are some people like this who are emotionally detached. And it's because, not because they're bad people, it's because of the experiences that they've had throughout their lifetime. Now the next card here is the Five of Coins. The Five of Coins talks about not having much faith in the future, wanting to have a better phase in your life but realizing that there is lack of things that are working against you. So this is basically similar to, it's the Five of Coins, so it is the Five of Pentacles. So being left out in the cold. Um, however, being left out in the cold is because of a particular reason that this person's feeling. Mostly it's insecurities. There's some insecurities um, due to not having enough poverty, not having enough of something, if that makes sense. The situation that you're both in is having issues because there is a lack of something in the person's ability. There's a lack. They're lacking something. And they're feeling the rejection. They're feeling left out in the cold because of what it is that they are lacking. Over here, it does talk about being emotionally detached, for sure. Now, under the bottom of the deck, you have transformation. Transformation talks about hmm, stagnation. So being stuck in a situation, this situation is not really going forward. Um, yes, we did have the death card. So that could be related to that. Resisting transformation. This person, um, yourself or this person, there might be some type of hesitation not wanting to move forward. And that's because of the experiences that you have had. There's certain reasons why there's a lack of transformation. There is a need to want to move into a new direction. However, one of you is being a bit rigid and a bit stubborn. Okay, so now you know why something in the relationship is not working out. This is the reason. If the person is not communicating with you, this is how they feel. This is what this is the reason why. Because there's this negative aspect, lack of certain types of feelings, emotions, insecurities. This is Doreen Virtue's deck, Angel Answers. So I will be looking into what it is that the angels can provide to you. 
These messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Okay, Virgo. So the angels are saying reconsider any type of action or plans that you had. Because when you do reconsider your actions, you will receive a romance. Spiritual romance, yes. You have to remain positive. The romance is going to be in the 3D form, yes. On planet Earth, yes, you're going to be with this person. However, you're going to feel a very special bond with this person, especially spiritually. And the angels are saying, don't stop. Perfect timing. Don't stop what it is that you want. There will be a compromise in the situation that you're going to have with this person. Um, you will have to meet halfway because there may be um, there may be a feeling of, you know, it wasn't just my fault, but you should not have done this. So there's going to be a compromise. Both of you will have to adjust. For those of you who do not want to adjust and that want to just leave the situation, definitely do what makes you feel right because you know your individual situations. This is not going to resonate with everybody, right? Um, I understand some of you might not like wanting to compromise. No, you don't have to. But this is for those of you who want to continue this relationship. That's what this message is for. These, this is for those people. Okay, Virgo. I hope you guys like the reading. I hope I was able to provide some clarity into your respective situations. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. <laughs> Any comments. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And I will try to get back to your comments whenever I can. Um, again, I wanted to thank you very much for your love and support. It is a blessing for me. It's amazing. So, until then, you guys, stay safe, stay positive, and I will see you next month. All right, then. Take care. Bye.